Glittery Peacock Face Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing another face art tutorial using Ite Mineral Cosmetics Glitter and their Liquid Sparkle Bond. And if you haven't heard my opinion on those products from the last video, I once again want to say I love them. Especially the Liquid Sparkle Bond is incredible, especially since you can put glitter on your lips and it stays in place, which is something that really I haven't been able to find a product that'll do that before. So I'm really, really happy. And I also am going to be showing you how I did this peacock eye, actually the whole face tutorial, this eye, lips, all that stuff. So yeah, I hope you like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with my foundation and concealing routine, which is pretty much just concealer because I generally don't wear foundation. So I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes just to get rid of any dark circles. And then I've got a couple little blemishes on my forehead that I'm going to conceal as well. And then down the bridge of my nose, just as sort of a highlighter. And so once I've got all of that blended in exactly how I like it, then I'm going to be covering my face with just a translucent powder. And the powder is going to create a really nice base for all of your body paint to set on. And then I'm going to be priming my eyes with some eyelid primer and then applying some nude eyeshadow just over my lids and then white underneath my brows to highlight my brow bone. And at this point I'm just doing that on both sides. So now I'm going to pick just one eye that I'm going to be painting the peacock on and I'm going to start by creating that's the line of his neck and then his head and now I'm going to be adding his back that goes up and around my lid. and I am using light blue body paint. And so then I'm going to finish off, and so that's like his backside area, and I'm gonna be painting his tail feathers. So his tail feathers, I want them to kind of just really gently curl around my cheek like that. So I'm going to be doing all of them in like a section together, so I'm not gonna paint each individual feather at this point, just the basic shape that they're all going to be held within. So now with purple, I'm going to be defining some areas. I'm going to go and basically paint in front of the wing, up the neck just a little bit with some of that purple at his beak. And then a couple little head feathers or the base of the head feathers. And then I'm going to be adding polka dots along the tail for each feather itself. So peacock feathers are in a series of colors that layer on top of each other when you look at them. So the blue is going to be that background color and then I'm going to have purple and pink on each feather. And I'm gonna just add some more purple at the base of those tail feathers. I'm gonna add a pink dot on the top of each of his head feathers, and then just a little bit of pink on his wings, and then a pink dot in the middle of each of the purple um, feather circles. So then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it into the liquid sparkle bond that I have just pumped a squirt onto my hand, and then I'm going to be dipping that brush that's wet into the blue glitter. And that blue glitter is called Menta. That's the color name. And I'm going to be applying that over all of the blue and then in the areas like on the neck and on the base of the tail feathers where the purple and the blue sort of blend together, I'm just going to take and I'm going to blend the colors a little bit themselves. And so now I'm going to be going in with purple. And when you're covering up the body paint with this liquid sparkle bond, make sure that you use a dabbing motion instead of a brushing motion because it's going to resaturate and reactivate the um, body paint that's underneath it, which is going to maybe blend your colors together a little bit. And then I'm going to do the pink. And when I'm doing, when I notice the pink isn't nearly as sparkly as the other colors. And so I'm not quite as happy with the pink as with the rest of the Ite glitter colors. The other ones are amazing, but this one in particular is just a little bit, it's almost like a matte glitter. Um, so if you like matte glitters, then you'll probably really like that one. But now I'm going to go through with black body paint and a really thin lining brush, and I'm going to just be outlining my peacock and all of his feathers and his details. And you can, when you use the liquid sparkle bond, you can definitely paint on top of the glitter once it is dried. I just make sure that it's dry before you start trying to paint on top of it, or like I'm doing outlining it, because you might just move your glitter around, but otherwise it works perfectly well. And I'm going to be applying blue eyeliner to my waterline and then curl my eyelashes and apply back black mascara. And as you can see, I'm being, I'm able to blink and move my eye all around and that glitter isn't budging. It's staying exactly where I put it, which is amazing. So now my other eye, I'm going to be doing just a really minimal crease color with purple and blue. And these colors are from the new Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. And so I'm just going to blend those into my crease and then once again, do blue eyeliner on my waterline. And now I'm going to be doing a winged eyeliner with black body paint. 
And I like to use black body paint for eyeliner because I find that it's thinner, it's easier to use for me, it may not be easier to use for you, so use whatever you're comfortable with and just line your eye. And then curl your lashes and apply mascara. And if you wanted to, you could do, say, the blue eyeliner and the mascara all that do both eyes at the same time. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know. Sometimes I'm not sure. But then I'm going to be applying a pair of pink false lashes to the outer half of my eyes and then covering up my lower lashes with blue body paint just so that they're nice and bright and blue but you definitely want to put mascara underneath them because this isn't going to add any length or fullness to your lashes just the color and then I also highlighted the inner corner of my eye with shimmery white eyeshadow and now I'm going to be applying a dark green lipstick to my lips and this lipstick was a birthday gift for my nephew so I was so happy to use it and then I'm going to be covering up my lips with some of that really shimmery um it's called shine from that circular color shine and then apply the liquid sparkle bond over your lips so the first time you, you when you put the glitter on your face you do you dip your brush into the liquid sparkle bond and then into the glitter when you're doing it on your lips you go you put lipstick then glitter and then the liquid sparkle bond on top of it to sandwich it in and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you like this design and please share any recreations with me on facebook twitter and instagram i really would love to see them and i'll see you in my next video bye